just uh, Liverpool Magenta meetup. Um, there's a single group of Manchester that's been going for quite a bit, uh, but we want to create a bit of a community for Magenta in Liverpool as well. So although Session Digital, which is our, uh, the company that we work for, is sponsoring the first one, we'd like to uh, invite everyone to suggest talks and contribute in the future to either sponsoring events uh, or provide talks. Uh, we'd like to obviously, I don't know how often it's going to be, but it's going to be a month, by a month, or every few months. But at least if you guys have any suggestions or any feedbacks after that, okay, just uh, grab any of us for the session t shirt. So, um, today's topic is Magenta 2. So, I'll give a non technical talk on this call, so as you can see on the screen there. Um, and we've got James, one of our technical team leads, sitting over there. Uh, he's going to give us a technical uh, deep dive into Magenta 2. Um, so I'm a Magenta Solution, uh, especially not to, uh, not Magenta Solution consultant, but especially a short. Sorry? Please be a cover. I'll hold that for a screen back there. Um, yeah, so we, uh, I myself and a lot of people here work for Session Digital. We are Gold Solution Partner Magento. Uh, one of, uh, I'm not sure how many in the UK. 15 million. Yeah. Um, so we deliver um, Magento solutions to uh, companies such as Misguided, Guru, Victoria Beckham, Natalie. Um, and yes, yeah, so today I'm going to start off with Magento 2. Uh, if then no one has worked with Magento 2, it's a good high level overview. So I'll be talking about uh, just a quick overview of Magento in general for people that are new to Magento. Uh, quick overview of Magento 2. Um, and my talk will be from a merchant point of view. So what can you expect as a merchant? Uh, and when can I have Magento 2? And then obviously any questions on how to find me. So Magento um, started in 2008. Well, it was actually founded by Roy Rubin and Jörg Kutner um, in 2007. But it was first launched in 2008. Um, and the enterprise uh, version, so they got community and enterprise um, now. And the enterprise was created in 2009. It was sold off to eBay in 2011 and is now part of the eBay enterprise. Um, Jörg Kutner and uh, Roy Rubin has left um, in the years following the uh, um, merger with eBay. Uh, Magento 2, as we will talk about today, will be released later this year in November. And uh, eBay enterprise and Magento was sold off to a private equity firm this year and they are actively investing in the platform to improve it. So Magento um, caters for 20% of the top 10k e-com sets in the world. Um, and there's 270,000 plus sites in Magento worldwide using, so using Magento. Um, and as I said, Magento 2 will be available for the general public um, in November this year. So, Magento 2 has been um, a few years in the making. There's been a, f a few promised uh, delivery deadlines that's been missed, but now it's finally here. O officially announced uh, with a roadmap last year, and I got a release one this year. It's been a uh, Magento 2 uh, beta since uh, quarter four of last year, and in the merchant beta since July this year. And the merchant beta is a program where 15 uh, <laughs> sites across the world is, um, is, uh, is the first site that's going to be launched live in Magento 2. Uh, and there's a few selected solution partners around the world that are working with Magento on this. And Session Digital, we are doing two of them, so we've got first time experience with that, working with Magento 2 and uh, actively contributing to the beta. The general availability, as I said, will be in November. So, what's new? So, for people that work with um, Magento 1, the UX of the administration wasn't always the best. So, we got a new UX. Um, we've got checked improvements. Um, there's enterprise features in Magento 1 that's now turned into community edition features, such as the full page cache, which is really useful. Um, we've got performance improvements. I'll go more into that uh, in a bit. 
got scalability improvements, got product imports and exports improvements. And we got a new Magento Connect which will launch in November. And there's core structure improvements and more open development process which uh, James I'm sure will cover. Uh, so as an immersion, what can you expect? So with Magenta administration, I'll talk to you a few points and then I'll uh, show you a few videos of uh, the new administration. So you've got new um, user experience, you've got touch friendly, so it's optimized for tablet and mobile. You've got flexible data grips, uh, data grids, you can drag and drop, you can, you can save custom use and configurable columns. And the product administration is a lot better, that's a huge improvement. The navigation is moved to the side and is better organized. And you've got uh, more product attributes watches, so you've got the image, text and color. So this is a video of the new navigation. You can see it's all on the left hand side and it's better organized. So you've got the order screen, the products. Um, and as you go further along uh, down, yeah, it's more, it, it's moved a lot. So if you use Magenta 1, you probably, you might get a bit confused at first because it's uh, shift a lot, uh, shift around a bit. But it actually makes more sense, especially if you're a new Magenta user, when you go into the various um, sections, but uh, it's probably a bit hard to see on screen too. You've got reports there, uh, so it's all laid out, easy to access. You've got the stores where you can access configuration. Uh, and the last one is more system, which is more for uh, your uh, system integrators. Uh, and here's the product administration. So it's a lot quicker now to add a new product. Um, you can select your um, attribute set there and change it at any point. Uh, and you can do that with Magento 1. Um, so I'm changing it back to the default now, and that will remove all the features. You can add attributes um, just there rather than go to separate screen which you see for the minute. and also on the printer one you had to go through quite a few tabs before you actually could save the products uh, to go through all the mandatory uh, fields but here all of them are laid out on the first page it's very easy you can see straight away what you need to do to create a simple product you can add image quite quickly you can even drag images on board uh, you can change services and the categories you can uh, just type in and start appearing um, uh, as you type and uh, you can create new categories from the product on the screen as well. The more advanced settings, um, such as advanced the pricing, the tier pricing, is still there but it's hidden under advanced settings not to just put you off uh, when you're a new user and start designing products. Um, you can also but just start now the product, just a simple product, and decide to turn it into a configurable product uh, just at the bottom of the product screen. And you can start selecting the attributes you want to be filterable. You can create a new attributes if you want. Uh, you quickly just go through and select the sizes, for example, uh, in this instance. Um, and select whether they're going to have say, unique images or just use the same images and save them to quantity and price. It's quite an easy build of configurable products. So not the improvement on the uh, Magento one. Uh, this way you can do your filters and columns. So you can quickly filter the simple products. I just apply in the filter and it will appear. Um, this is quite a slow demo instance of Magento by the way, so it's not the uh, actual reflection of Magento 2. Uh, you can quickly hide and show uh, columns and I can save that view if you want. So you can have 10 different saved views, so you can quickly access um, the information you need whenever you need it. And that's a very useful feature from working with quite a few merchants through the years where they ask us to customize this screen because you just have the information you want. They can actually do it themselves now, it's really good. So, the checkout improvement. So, now um, for people that use Magento 1, you have the, the ability to have a guest checkout and um, that okay. Uh, or register. It's a lot better now. You just uh, it's assumed as a guest checkout. That's one way, um, and it will automatically re uh, recognize you as a registered user if you type in the, um, an email that's been registered, which allows you to type in the password. Uh, and if you 
not a registered user at the end of the checkout journey, then you can choose to create an account. The shipping rates will appear when enough information has been added, depending on the criteria you've set. Uh, and the billing address is only uh, valid when a payment is required, which in most instances will be all the time. This is uh, just a quick demo of the new checkout. So I'll just type in my email, which is not recognized, so I'll just continue as a guest. Um, also, it's been uh, um, reduced down to two steps. It's all your address um, and the shipping on this one, and the payment for the next three. So as you can see, the shipping methods will start reducing them when you change the country. This is a lot quicker to go through. And that's the, um, that's the last payment screen, and this place the order. So performance and scalability. So uh, with Magenta 1, we had to use uh, modules to um, or extensions to use varnish uh, and it could be quite tricky to uh, set up. Um, with the Magenta 2 you get varnish for support out of the box. Um, for enterprise you have standalone DB for order management system and checkout which um, again will improve the performance which I'll give some data on in a minute. Um, so uh, enterprise is also, uh, also compatible with the MySQL cluster. Um, Concurrent order management in the admin is 50 plus at enterprise. It's a huge improvement on Magento 1. Um, and concurrent product management is 250 plus in enterprise. Uh, with Magento 1, if you had a lot of admin users, you have to have a separate server for the admin. Uh, Magento community can handle about 50,000 orders per hour. And um, Magento Enterprise can handle 90,000 order per hour and about 300 concurrent users on, on uh, order or checkout. So, when can I have Magento 2 if I'm merchants? So, as I just uh, mentioned before, uh, the Merchant Beta is currently in process uh, across the globe. There's a few sites that are due to go live. Um, we will be one of the first uh, ones to go live with the Magento 2. Um, as mentioned before, general availability will be November. Uh, there's more features that are still added between now and the general availability. And there will also be a new Magento Connect uh, for people who use the current Magento Connect. It's not always the best. It's, um, the search is not the best and also uh, finding out whether they are uh, in the OECD module is quite hard. Uh, the new Connect will have uh, automated tests for plagiarism as well, which is um, quite a welcome improvement for a lot of extension developers. It will be a lot easier to search for modules as well, and this will sort of coincide with new general availability. Um, Gen 2 certifications, so probably a few people here got the um, Gen 1 certifications, um, and um, with Gen 2 certifications based on working knowledge rather than the theory. So, they will be coming before late 2016 when Agenda 2 has been available for our year and people are actually working on this book. Uh, there will also be a migration tool uh, from Agenda 1 to Agenda 2. Um, that will be for um, the data, really only uh, your modules. Uh, you have to look at new Magento Connect, and the new Magento Connect will have about uh, at least 200 of the top current Magento modules available for Magento 2. Um, and for Office of Teams, there's complete redesign, uh, so you can't port them. Uh, you can also extend the migration tool as well if you have uh, custom data, custom data requirements, you can, it's, it's uh, extendable. Uh, so training is uh, available out for Magento, so if you go to the Magento site, you can find um, uh, Magento 2 training tool or um, training courses del delivered by Magento. Uh, and that was basically it. Um, any questions? What do you consider the most improved feature then in the admin? So you, you mentioned the UX, why, why is it such a big deal that it's been modified? Yeah, because um, 
me that when I looked at it first, it's a lot easier. I just, it was more intuitive. You can easily find what you um, what you want. Uh, I particularly like the product administration and yeah. uh, the way it's so quick, so much quicker to create a product. And it's, you know, if needing new attributes, you can like, create just a quick test or something. Just type it in there and then just create on the So much easier. Have you had any uh, feedback from your clients on the projects that you've been working on? Uh, well, we only work on two clients, which are two, um, and when we demo the products, they find it really easy and easy to understand. Um, and in terms of development, uh, obviously, there's, when, as it's in beta, there's, uh, there's a few uh, you know, issues that probably some products, but uh, in general, it's pretty good. Okay, um, I can use this still using the Case where they're using it on iPad or something? Well, with Magento 1, you couldn't really. I mm -hmm. couldn't use that on, uh, on tablet, but now with tablet users, you get more popular and particular way you can maybe install. You can do take orders from clients via a photo. It's more stuff you can just use in the Magento rather than actually using the separate tables. Yeah. Because that's possible. Just looking at the admin, it looked to me like the admin could be clean. Possibly, I actually don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Yes, I mean, the admin in Genso 1 could always be feeding. Um, Genso 2, probably, yeah, it can be feeding just as well. Uh, a lot of research has been put into the Magento 2 feed to make it responsive so it's usable on tablets, phones. So you could change the colors, but you probably wouldn't want to redo the theme. Yeah, I think more colors for that reason. Yeah. So different colors for your store. Yeah, well, that's really easy. The way that the theme Teams now work in Genso 2. It's classed as a module, so you can create an admin module which changes the core based on the uh, brand. Or if you've got um, more brands, then the theme can change per brand, which is quite cool. Okay. Does it still support Genso 2 yeah, so yeah, it's still keeping the Magento 1 features. There's um, some Magento 1 features that are not available yet in Magento 2. I think that's just because the meetup has said it's more features getting added. It's going to run up to Genento 1 Have any features been removed completely that you know of? Unless, well, there's some that's not there at the moment, so unless they don't get added. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you know anything more about it? No. Yeah. Well, that, that's about the Yeah. Not when you start. I wish this is done. How long is Magento going to support the current version of Magento 1? Uh, so, with Magento um, 1.13, it will um, retain year 3 support for Priority 1 issues only. Um, and then, I guess, Magento 14 is quite specified, but it be, I guess, the same. Yeah. Do you know what the ease of upgrading would be from 1 to 2? Um, you know, is, you want James or the well, obviously you've got the migration tool, which you might be able to use. In our project, we're not using it, but there's beta projects that are using the migration tool. So I guess we'll know a lot more after beta base how easy that was. But in terms of theming, it's a complete redesign. Uh, so you have to read about the modules uh, at the moment. In beta, there's not that many available. Um, but the data, in theory, should be able to But we know probably in about six months' time when it's a bit more settled. Yeah. Still, it's still obviously more expensive than um, Magento uh, uh, 1 uh, from 13 to 14, that's great. But Magento 2 upgrades between each version, I believe, is going to be uh, easier. Definitely, yeah. Than between the Magento 1 versions. Yeah. Have been any talk of um, like using Magenta as a in the cloud or software service? There's um, I've talked to the James to be able to answer better than me, but I believe there's more of, they want it to be in the cloud. So there, there's a lot of um, hosting the uh, hosting providers as well, so I'm trying to put Magento in the cloud. Um, but quite a lot of them using um, the Amazon platform. Uh, I don't know what you can probably do. 
yeah, I mean, it really depends on what the client's needs are. So you can use some of the Gento recommended parts where it's pretty much, we'll do the work for you. It's all click and they'll build the store. It's there, which is great for small merchants. And then there's some parts that we're working with now, which actually allow us to manage deployments on a larger scale. So the one we're working with the most enterprise grade um, platform in the cloud, it's all in Amazon. Um, scalable, both horizontal and vertical, which is it's good. A, a, a kind of business question. I, I don't know much about Magento, sorry, but in terms of the reporting, um, what's the reporting functionality, especially in terms of taking the reports out of that as an internal accounting package for, for instance? Uh, so with Magento 1, you had um, and you have modules that could, uh, you know, basically you have an API with Magento, so you can pretty much connect it to anything. Um, but you got some base reports in Magento, you can pull out all the data, you can pull out product data, etc. You can put it into um, any account systems. I'm not sure that we work with any account systems on the data projects. Not just yet. Um, so, not, but yeah, but we've done that in the past with Magento. So, yeah, that's possible. Okay. And the more the bigger the company software provider, the more likely is they have an integration in some way already. Cool, hold on. Thanks for that. So we'll have James up in a minute. Just the guys that uh, came in, we've got some drinks about you, so if you want any drinks, just uh, grab one and have yourself. Uh, James, you good to go? Yeah. So, if anyone's a tweet, we've got uh, we've got open handle uh, at yeah. Help Call Magento. Uh, if you want to follow us, so you can find out about the options, you can uh, tweet it. Cheers.